Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm going to be trying out some Vitae, which is a moldable silicone clay that I purchased off AliExpress for just under $4. Essentially what this stuff is used for, as seen on the AliExpress listing, is mainly for cable repair slash reinforcement and just overall DIY household fix hacks. Now instead of using this stuff to reinforce my cables, I'm going to be trying this stuff out on a pair of earphones. Basically what I'm going to be doing with this Vitae silicone is I'm going to fashion it into these round nipples and apply that to the sides of the earphones so that when I put the earphones in my ears, they get better traction within my ears. They hold in there. And I actually did this with a pair of KZZST Pros that I had a while ago and that was a huge success. So with the ZST Pros I used regular household caulking that you can purchase from any hardware store. But honestly I feel a little bit uneasy about using the hardware caulking silicone again since it does take a lot longer to harden and also I'm not really able to get them in other colors besides for the beige, white and brown. Also hardware caulking silicone is very messy. If you guys ever handle it you'll know that it just gets everywhere and it's hard to get that stuff off your hands. So I am hoping that this Vitae stuff is a lot easier to handle and it is a lot less messier. And I was told that the stuff hardens within about six to eight hours, whereas caulking silicone could sometimes take up to 24 hours to harden. So anyway, let me get started and uh, I'm going to be doing this to my KZ AS10s. So opening up the packaging, you'll see that this stuff kind of looks like Play-Doh and actually the consistency of it is Play-Doh. This stuff feels like Play-Doh, but it doesn't smell like Play-Doh. It actually smells like something moldy. It smells literally like mildew or mold if you guys are familiar with that smell. So it's not a very pleasant smell. So as I'm kneading this Vitae, um, the stuff is actually sticking to my hands quite bad. It's so far doing everything that I didn't want it to do. So the color is getting all over my fingers. This stuff is very, very tacky. It's not even coming off my fingers once it's uh, once I'm kneading it into a ball and it's also kind of flaky. I don't know if you guys uh, can notice that, but so far this has been everything that I didn't want it to be. It's actually worse than the silicone caulking that I previously used. The silicone caulking was not this messy and also it didn't smell this bad. All right, so I've been kneading this for about five minutes and I'm going to let it dry now for about 30 minutes before I start fashioning it into those uh, nipples that I was previously speaking about. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes and you'll notice that I now have a glove on and the reason for that is because this stuff was literally a nightmare to wash off. I didn't want to come off in the sink with soap under warm hot water. So I ended up just using a washcloth under the hot water with soap and eventually it just came off. But anyway, it was a nightmare getting this stuff off my fingers. So I'm just gonna knead the stuff for a few more minutes and then I'm going to apply it to the KZAS tents. All right, so I'm now going to apply some of this Play-Doh to the KZAS10s to form that nipple that I was speaking about previously. So basically what I did with my KZZS10s, I'm going to be doing to the AS10s. I'm gonna apply a small chunk there to act as a little hump so that essentially it will hold, or these earphones will hold in my ears uh, better than before. So I'm guessing that this is around the right place where it should go. This is a sample so I'm not really that worried if it doesn't come out perfectly. I'm probably going to end up breaking it off anyway. I, this is just a test run. Alright so I applied putty on both earphones. Now I'm going to let this stuff dry for about two to three hours. We're going to come back in about two to three hours and see if this stuff is cured, if it's hard and dry. Okay, so I'm now back. It's been about three and a half hours and this stuff is almost fully cured. It's pretty much done. I mean, it's not like 100% solid. It's about 90 to 95%. Good enough. Um, so far, I don't know. Like This stuff is kind of too hard. I like the fact that with the silicone it was at least uh, 
squishy, whereas this, it's like solid. It's like rock solid. So I'm not really liking, I'm not digging that. Anyway, let me now show you the fit of the earphones. All right, so the earphone is now in my ear. As you can see, you've got the red putty at the bottom there. And it's pretty much doing what I need the earphones to do. Now, would I recommend this stuff? Probably not, it's just too hard. I don't really dig the fact that it's hard. I like the idea where with the silicone it was very squishy, it was just soft in my ears. I didn't really feel it too much. Now with this stuff, I kind of do feel it a lot. It's, it's not that irritating, but I see potentially how it could get irritating. So anyway, I don't really recommend this stuff for the reasons being that it's too tacky, it's very messy, and it smells really bad as well. At least initially it smells really bad. I think I'm just going to stick to the silicone for now. Anyway, I plan on getting a tube one of these days and I'll probably do redo these earphones with that. So that's pretty much it for this uh, video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. Uh, hopefully you learned something today as well. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.